welcome back to another Let's Roll play of Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm Theron the Dalish Mage. We're still in Castle the Rana Keep. We need to find the controls to open up. Uh, to use Someone the needs to deal with the last of Crestwood's highwaymen. Who has time? If we clear the bandits out, more travelers. More travelers. More news for the Nightingale. Good point, but I've got a code to unscramble if you want to know who killed Comfayer last week. Are the highwaymen still in Crestwood? Yes, Your Worship. Now that their fort is gone, the bandits are ambushing travelers. Crestwood won't stop them either. The town's still reeling from the undead. Sounds like we have something to do then. Kill a number of bandits. Oh, is that not it? That could very well be it. It looks like uh, if anywhere you can control across. the dam, it would be down there. Next. Six pointed star. Next. Ground. They're playing ha, cards. A substitution code. Did it think we're okay, let's. We're done in the keep. It'd be nice if I had a flying mount. Oh, that would be so awesome. That would be like a dream. Uh, if we had griffins as well, great wardens have griffins. How? Huh? But the Inquisition is a special movement, um, special group. Your Need worship. more than ever. We also might be facing a blight, a great big blight as well. So another time. Keep in mind. I think that I went up there actually. Okay, move out of the way, but I don't think I went up here. Not that there's guaranteed to be something. No. Just the ladder. Okay. So, I know that the dam is... Is this it? Stillwaters. The only building on the dam likely holds the mechanism to drain the lake. Okay. Everyone was saying it's part of... Um, keep. We may not be able to go this way. I, I'm a little bit suspicious. We may have to go back to the keep. If that's the case, then I will just have to pause it before I get to where I need to go. What, there's some kind of building over there. Yeah, I don't know if we can go over this way. Oh, maybe we can. It should be down over there. Oh. People were killed here. 83 gold, spindle weed. This is where we came out, actually. Under there. Where we fought the big spider. So that's not helping us at all. There's got to be a way to get to that place that we're trying to get to. Uh, can we make it this way? Seems to be going okay so far. No, this is this looks like it's gonna block us off. Oh, why can't they make this easy? Oh yeah, well we can't go through the water. Call Shemlin. Okay, we're gonna go race around to the other side. I don't know of any other way to go through. Yeah. Through there. the entrance where we went to the keep. What's that? It looks like red lyrium. Whoa. What's going on? Red lyrium jutting out of the ground like this. You have to understand it's a material that's never been 
even heard of before. I guess uh, Varric brought a piece back from the uh, deep roads, but that's about it. Now it's a big part of the... Oh, big, well, it is. It's influencing the world. How the heck do we get down there? Weeding out bandits. I still think that it's... Where are you, Shaman? I still think we have to race around the keep to get to where we want. Yeah! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that's bad. Dead man's pass. So there's some kind of wolf down there. Well, it's not attacking. Yeah! Another wolf right here. Okay, off. Get off. Oh, this wolf is attacking us. Nine leather. What's through here? Now, if you keep an eye out for obsidian, that's a, probably one of the better crafting materials I can find, too. I think this is obsidian here, yeah. It's a pain to have to give it up to obsidian. More obsidian here. This stuff is like gold. This is some of the best crafting material you can that I've come across. I have five of it already. That's what I use to make Blackwell's shield and his sword. But then we were out. I used every last bit up. I've gained five back, but uh, now there's... The Inquisition wants to use some of it. Obsidian. I think we just came right back out in the path. Didn't we? we didn't just... Oh, okay, so we start went in there, but there was more to it this way. Let's go back in this cave. Wish I had a light. Very, very dark. We need to go left, I believe. Wind yeah. is always going someplace. What happens when it gets there? Apparently, it dons a hat and prattles endlessly. <laughs> I forgot Vivian is not not fond of the idea of Cole being with us. More obsidian. Yeah, she wanted me to get rid of him. Okay, there's a dead body here. 106 gold. Examine. What's going on? Spiders. Hey guys, fight back. Spider fangs. Use that to research with. And there's two chests here. We didn't. Did we get a chance to examine this? Or is that when the spiders came down? Belt of staggering. Side step dagger. We already have uh, better daggers for cold than that. Unfortunately, it would have been nice. Well, that's it then. Other than this nug. Let's go back into that dead man's pass. Oh, is this a way to go? Kinda. No. Dead end. We'll leave this place to the nugs and any other spiders that come in here. Or the wolves. Okay, Shemlin. Where are you? I'm calling him. Stayed out here in the cold rain. Yeah. There's gotta be a way to get down to those things. Whoa. What is this? This looks like some kind of door. 
that opens up. I don't see any means of opening it though. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Whoa. Are we back at the village? No, we're not. High stakes. Liliana's eyes and ears in the region. A spy named Char Charter mentioned that her man Butcher seemed to be running a little behind. A uh, pack of wolves to my right. Oh, well, look what we found. Fade Rift. I can get out. Okay, there we go. know that there was a fade drift so close by. Okay, we can also set up camp over here. So close to uh, the care of Bronico. Yeah, we need to get back there. What's this? Gold. 78 gold. Demons, they're out. Teach them a lesson. horror. Horn of Valor Ring. For warriors only. I guess Arcane Horror Heart. We definitely use that. I guess we've come to the water on this side, but we're still far away. We need to get down. This is Naturalist. Man of Crestwood is concerned that a friend of his. Oh, okay, that's where Judith is supposedly be. Weeding out bandits. We haven't run across any of them so far. High stakes. Uh, we are looking for a man. Why don't we do this area, work on these areas? There are jobs here. Uh, here lies the abyss. Varric has a friend named Hawk. Right here. Is it here? Or is that across the lake? Actually, I think that is across the lake. I don't know. We're going to search in the area, though. Okay, so we're looking for... Uh, butcher. He's supposedly a little behind. What is this? I, looks like wolves. Wolves fighting the bandits. There's even a druffalo in there. Let's light them all up. <laughs> Discriminate. Okay, let's 
Struffalo down. Canine leather. See what else we can loot from this. We killed a bunch of guards. Uh, they, I think they want us to kill about five more of the Druffalo hide. I don't, I've tried killing Druffalos before. I never. I didn't get any hide from them. It's the first time. No, it's a bunch of Druffalo hide. It's the subsidian. How valuable you are. There's some kind of home. Oh, we can set up camp right up here. A decent enough place to camp, I suppose. Right next to this old dilapidated house. It's a sack we can loot. Death root and blue vitriol. Inquisitor. No. We already have a job from you guys. Oh, there's another. I don't know how good Druffalo is, but I'm thinking it's probably very tough. So I'm gonna. When we see them, I'm gonna try. Try to get their hides. Probably worth it what I'm doing. Although I, I hate the idea of killing animals. Uh, a lot of the animal hides though are instrumental in making things that we need for the war effort. Another drop low over there. Very tough creatures. Triple hide. Oh, okay, so what's this? We found a cave up here. Vault's contact with the warden should be in that cave. Okay, we've got some things to do. Um, they've been waiting for a, a while. I think they can wait a little bit longer. More obsidian. Just one. <laughs> we still not ha have not found Butcher. And the naturalist. The man in Crestwood is concerned that a friend of his, Judith. Okay, so. And weeding out the bandits. There's five more bandits, I believe. Well, we can claim this. The pit in the pond. Three trout pond hides a sinkhole hundreds of yards deep. Darkspawn emerged from this and other caves to attack Crestwood during the blight. The flood that wiped out old Crestwood drowned the blighted ones, and the excess water created the pond we see today. If the dam was not damaged, we would have never survived the Darkspawn. Was the Maker's hand in this? I cannot believe he would be so purposely cruel to his children. Flawed though we are, from the memoirs of Sister Vaughn of the Crestwood. I see obsidian head, and I see blood lotus, which we need quite badly. For research purposes, and obsidian. Three obsidian. What's ahead? Wolves fighting bandits. That was easy. Three more bandits needed. Or two more bandits. Okay. So it'll just be canine leather, wolf fangs. Well, this is one of the bandits' camps. Yeah, I, I, what's this? Oh, this could be the body we were looking for. Uh, a butcher? Bloody papers. This stack of papers is so blood-soaked, the pages stick together. Only a few lines are still legible. 
After knowing who he truly serves, it was an easy thing to discover his compatriots. I lifted a list of their spies from one before I left. We have little we have little time before the theft is discovered, so I advise we move post haste. I was followed, but do not fear I lost my pursuers and lives. Only our closest friends know my final destination, Butcher. Yep, we found him. Reinforcements! Reinforcements. I wonder if any part of them remembers who they were. Oh, these are Red Templars. That's different. Okay. Well, I'm gonna give them this favor. That, that dealt with them pretty quickly. Ten gold. Red Templar guards and chain. Some obsidian this way. What is it with Ferelden and the undead? Didn't Redcliffe have the same problem? Well, I don't know, I'm not from here. So we found the butcher. And there's still two more bandits to bring down. And we've got to find this naturalist woman. Where's, uh, let's mark this. Here's these bandits. They look like them. Yep. Running. Cowards. One. I knew that one had uh, gone in, into hiding to come up. I was ready for you. Oh, there's another one right there. A bit of their base. We've already been through this area, though. Linden Farm. A couple of items we can sell. Loot. Ram leather, cotton. What's up here? Oh. <laughs> uh, somebody was drinking le liquor and sitting on a chair. In the rain. Or, and reading a book. Plants versus corpses. In all the strange struggles that have raged across Ferelden, one of the most peculiar is the Battle of Hopper's Cap. A powerful demon bent on gaining power in the mortal world raised an army of corpses to assault the home of Helanthius, a reclusive apostate who was said to possess both fabulous wealth and great knowledge. While the demon saw the perfect host in this bejeweled bookworm, Helanthius was not without defenses of her own. As the corpses shuffled towards her house, Helanthius called to the demon, declaring that Though she was just a simple apostate, the demon would see her power in see her power and entire infantry infantry unit. Then, calling upon her magic, she summoned spirits into the plants in her vegetable patch, creating plants versus zombies, um, creating countless tiny sylvans. The resulting garden warfare saw. Uh, corpses armored with buckets and doors as makeshift helmets and shields battling possessed fruits and vegetables who spat seeds and constructed makeshift fortifications and even chomped entire corpses whole. In the end, the area around Helanthia's home became both garden and graveyard, home to the corpses destroyed as she defended herself and this world from the demon. Had she been defeated and her great brain turned to the demon's purposes, we might well have seen such terrible corpses rampaging from the great pyramids of Parbolan to the pirate-infested waters of Lomarin, or even into the unknown western lands. Is this my lunch? I thought we were dining on bacon today. I was informed that there would be bacon. No, I shall not take the pot off my head. Why? Because I am mad. <laughs> a unsourced and debatable tale from Davith the Mad, supposedly shared at his estate in Walnut Hills where he spent his later years. Is that like Maik the Liar? Now, I guess I'll end the video here, guys. Uh, 
We're close to the home of Judith. And that's that's it before we go and meet with Hawk. I saw her from afar. She is up there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.